Have you ever heard of a broken tailbone? How many times have you thought that you've broken your tailbone? I know I have. And from the comment section, a lot of you guys have thought that too. It usually happens from a fall directly on your buttocks. Let's talk about how you treat a coccygeal fracture. A 30 year old female came to the emergency department 24 hours after she slipped and fell on her butt. She'd been trying to manage it at home, but the pain was so severe she even had a hard time sitting or walking. The ER doctor told her it was not necessary, but she insisted that she get an x-ray and it did reveal that she had a tiny crack in her coccyx. It actually broke her tailbone. Believe it or not, a broken tailbone is not that common. Most injuries as a result of a direct fall on the buttocks are usually bruising and not necessarily a fracture. Either way, bruised or broken, they can hurt really badly. They're four times more common in women than men because we have a broader pelvis and the coccyx is more exposed. Usually happens as a result of direct trauma by landing on the buttocks and a fall directly on the butt will put a lot of pressure directly on this very small bone. So when we talk about the anatomy of this part of our body, this portion is actually the sacrum, which is attached to the lumbar spine and this distal part or very end part of our sacrum is called the coccyx. It consists of tiny little bones that are fused at the very end of our spine and the anatomy can vary individual to individual. The way it's curved can also vary person to person. When we talk about injuries to that part of our body, it can be from a direct fall like I mentioned earlier, but it can actually happen during childbirth and can also happen from prolonged sitting. As the baby passes through the birth canal, different variations of the anatomy can cause that to be injured during vaginal delivery. The same note, it can be injured from prolonged sitting, particularly in people that have osteoporotic bone or thin bone. Why do we actually have a coccyx? Is it actually important? It serves as an insertion site for muscles, tendons, and ligaments to our pelvis. It also acts as a tripod surface when we sit, with two points being the ischial tuberosities or our front part of our pelvis and the back part being our coccyx. So when we sit, we're bearing weight on that part of the spine. And that's why when it's injured, it hurts very badly to sit. The medical term for a pain in our coccyx is a term called coccidinia. Coccidinia? I don't know. Potato, potato. In fact, maybe some of you guys remember talking about this term last year because Kim Kardashian came out that she struggled with this as well. Pain in the tailbone is usually worsened by prolonged sitting, prolonged standing, or rising from a seated to standing position. Pain can even be present during sexual intercourse or when you're going number two. On physical examination, you'll get point tenderness overlying the coccyx. There are other diagnoses that can be a little bit more concerning, so your doctor may order imaging if there is any concern for infection or tumor. So how do we manage it? The good news is that almost always tailbone injuries can be managed conservatively, meaning no surgery is involved. This usually entails a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications to help reduce the inflammation in the area, sitting on a donut to take pressure off of that bone when you're sitting. And of course, avoid sitting for long periods of time and leaning forward to take the weight off the tailbone can also be helpful. Taking stool softeners and adding fiber to your diet to avoid constipation. Can Sometimes if the pain is severe, stronger pain medications may be required or even an injection near the tailbone to help alleviate the pain. Physical therapy is also extremely helpful in these cases. Exercise to help stretch the ligaments and help build support muscles for the pelvis is extremely important, as well as pelvic floor therapy by a pelvic floor therapist. And make sure you do the things that the physical therapist says. As a physician, I find one of the most extremely frustrating things that patients say to me is that physical therapy isn't gonna help. I need surgery. I'm telling you right now, surgery is not always the answer. Most injuries in our body isn't just a simple fix. And this type of injury is absolutely no different. Rarely, and I mean very rarely, is surgery ever required for this condition. It involves surgical excision of the coccyx or a coccygectomy. In fact, it's so rare, I never even saw one in training and I've never performed one as a spine surgeon. It's really only utilized in patients with a badly damaged coccyx 
or reserved for patients with chronic pain that have failed exhaustive conservative treatment. Now back to our patient, she was diagnosed with a coccygeal fracture. She was managed conservatively and it did give her pain and discomfort for many, many months, but she went on to a complete recovery with conservative treatment. Another case of patient-focused and compassionate care. Stay tuned next week and I'll go through another case.